What's good in the hood, everybody? This your boy, NJW. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let me t tell me what you feel about this video. Today's video is about Terrence Crawford. They say he went to jail. You can't believe everything you believe you see on the internet is what I had to tell my son. So this is for him. Let me show you that everything on the internet is not true. Julie, around 4 o'clock, we were told Crawford was granted and posted a $10,000 cash bond, letting him out of jail as they appeal today's 90-day sentence. Now, it wasn't long after that that Mr. Crawford walked out of the front doors here at Douglas County Corrections, smiling on the way to a waiting car. I approached him and asked if there was anything he wanted to say, if he thought the sentence today was fair, and as you can see, he had no response. Again, all of this comes after he was found guilty back in September of property damage and disorderly conduct, both misdemeanors. Now, the, <clears throat> the video that's surfacing around is that he went to jail for beating up Devin Haney. Now, don't get me wrong, I can't say it wasn't possible that he whipped Devin Haney's butt because Terrence is the type of boxer that'll fight with or without gloves. And I tried to explain it to my son and everybody else. The man don't care about fighting. You know, there's sometimes it's just in you, you know. Meaners. Some argue the fighter's attitude played into today's sentence. Just five days after he knocked out his opponent in the ring, world champion boxer Terrence Bud Crawford walks out of a Douglas County courtroom in handcuffs. Sentenced to 90 days in jail, two years probation. This is the video that's servicing right here. That he coming out of court, he coming out of the courtroom. See, they trying to say he got arrested and brought into the jailhouse. That is not true. Whoever made that video, they they lying and they deceiving the people. This was from 2000 and something. Let me see what year it is to be exact. And 120 hours of community service, all after an April incident at a North Omaha body shop. The owner of Extreme Custom told police Crawford caused thousands of dollars in damage to his hydraulic lift. This was 2016 when this uh, event occurred. And this man, I remember this now, this man was mad about his car not being fixed and he came in there destroying stuff. You know, this is his own city that he got arrested in. They talking about he, this happened in Vegas, him getting into it with Devin Haney. Well, you know, I knew that wasn't true anyway because Terrence, ain't, he, he will fight for free, but Devin Haney ain't his type or his weight class or whatever. He might be in his weight class, but he just ain't somebody that he would waste his energy on because you see the interview when he had with his daddy he talked to us he said wait a minute i'm not even talking to you let me talk to your daddy how much do you bet he, you know he's a grown man talking to a grown man and not a child after taking his car off of it and refusing to pay the bill i think the sentence that she imposed is fair. I think it's appropriate given the circumstances of what happened. City prosecutor Matt Cousy says the sentence shows Craw Crawford wasn't given special treatment because of his celebrity status. The county judge even telling him Thursday morning he's not above the law. Moment. Okay, so there you have it. I just want to make a little short snippet about this video uh, that this somebody had surfing around that he's he was in handcuffed and going to jail, you know, uh, to make sure that I shine the light on it. That's not going to happen. Now, only way he defeated himself in that ring is he don't train. And if he trained, can't nobody beat him. You know, that's how the game go. So you can't defeat him by putting him in jail. Let's stop that. So stop all the lies. Whoever put this interview out. Uh, put this tape out about him going to jail for beating up Devin Haney is not true. I'm your host, NJW, and I just want to put this light on my boy, Terrence Bud Crawford, the best in the world. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit whatever button you want. Just hit a button, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for joining me.